problem. Thank you for coming. Damn, if you're feeling a little bit like this guy, throwing money down the sink or something else with your Facebook ads, let's find out what it could be. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Life with Arnan. As you can see, I'm just kidding. We're just gonna be talking about Facebook ads, which is a topic that you guys love uh, and hate and love again and hate at the same time. And let me see if I'm recording. Yeah, I'm recording. Um, because this thing of Facebook ads is that the problem is that sometimes they work, like some days they work great and you make a lot of money. And all that you need to think about is how you're going to name your elephant that you're gonna import from uh, India, you know, your pet elephant. And the next day you're thinking about which kid need to sell because the Facebook ads are not working that well. So I know, I totally get it. I totally, I totally 100% get you. And that's the, the way Facebook ads work. However, here are four tips that you can use today that you can implement today to make your Facebook advertise less sucky or maybe why your Facebook ads campaign are not working as they should. Now with that said, I really hope that you enjoy these type of videos. Sorry about earlier, you know, that guy had to go. What can I do? But if you do enjoy these videos, just hit the subscribe or the like or the share, or the comment, whatever kind of button that you're seeing, not that big red bright button that's appearing on your screen right now because that will potentially self distract your PC. But the other type of buttons, like if it's a red that says subscribe or if it's a blue that says comment or share, go ahead and do it because that will make me super, super happy. Also, I would like to invite you to the free Facebook group. It's free. It's a Facebook and guess what? It's also a group when you can join and you can you know, interact with a lot of uh, marketing weirdos just like me. Uh, we're making decent money. We're making quite a bunch of money and we're also having a lot of fun. So what do you say? Would you join? Now with that said, there are four main issues when you're running your Facebook ads and maybe why your Facebook ads are not working. Now, the first thing that I would suggest that you do is to go here and watch the super hated video, which is why selling on Facebook work, uh, doesn't work on why selling on Facebook sucks. And you know, after all the hate and all the comments, there are some people that are getting a lot of value out of this video because you can actually hear what I'm saying. You're not just mindlessly saying, oh, go fuck yourself or not. You're not, you're not, don't know what you're talking about, etc., etc. So if you're ready, go ahead and watch it. If, but just don't, I mean, just hear to the video first and then you can hate it, okay? Now that's the first thing that you need to have in mind. Facebook is a social platform. So trying to sell your product from a Facebook ad can give you more headaches than not. And the reality is that Facebook is a social platform. What you need to sell when you're doing Facebook ads, no matter if you're doing clicks campaign or video views, or if you're doing conversion ad campaigns, it doesn't really matter. What matters is that you go ahead and sell the click. Like why should people stop watching Kardashian videos on the Facebook timeline and actually click on your stuff? So you wanna sell the click. That's mistake number one, trying to sell the product where you need to be selling the click. Like for example, that also happens a lot with email. If you're doing any kind of email marketing, if you're trying to push a product through email, you will know that it doesn't work. The subject needs to get the email open, the email needs to get the click, and then the sales page needs to do the selling, you know? So have that in mind. Do not try to sell the product within the ad. Just try to be social, number one. Number two, try to sell the click. Now the other mistake that I see a lot is uh, having or picking the wrong uh, objective. I've talked extensively about uh, how to pick the great or the best Facebook objective. In fact, there's gonna be a link somewhere around here, around the video, whatever, that you can find that you can click and it's gonna show you what are the best campaign objectives that you can use. Now, you need to have in mind something. When you're picking up a, a campaign objective, when you're picking up a, a campaign objective, the campaign objective can actually determine the success of your campaign. Why? Because you're telling Facebook what kind of people you want to see the ad. It's not gonna be the same people that will you know, have a, a, an engagement with the ad, the people that will potentially purchase. It's not how it works. Like Facebook actually has much more uh, data that you can possibly think of more than any of us for within the platform. And it's way, more, it's way smarter. So, Depending on what campaign objective you're choosing, if you're choosing clicks, it will give you clicks. It will not give you leads. So if you're choosing, and if you're getting leads out of the clicks campaign, it's a byproduct. It's not 
what the campaign is aimed to do. So go ahead, watch, watch that video because it's gonna tell you what kind of obje objective to pick, to choose, whenever you're trying to launch a Facebook campaign and my top three campaign objectives that you can really use. Number three, which I kind of mentioned before, is trying to outsmart the algorithm. This is something that I used to do a lot, but it's like, you know, having this super smart computer um, and trying to play Tetris with that instead of trying to solve the world's biggest issues like how to cure cancer or, you know, um, I don't know why uh, the soup gets cold almost immediately and those kind of things. Instead of going that route, you're using it to play Tetris and you think that you will outsmart and you will say, yeah, I will solve the, the problem and, and I will save the world by playing Tetris on this supercomputer. Now, what you need to understand is that Facebook algorithm is super intelligent, like super, super smart. Way smarter than you, way smarter than I when it comes to the Facebook um, behavior and the behavior of its user. So what you need to have in mind is that whenever you're constraining the Facebook algorithm in your ad sets, there's a chance that your ads will suck. So I see these, uh, you know, I see these people doing this all over, uh, over and over again. Like for example, they will launch a campaign, they will constrain it to a little bit of the population, meaning they will go to the US, but they will go to these specific demographic, like women from 40 to 45 that like Lancome and then like this, and they need also to like this, and I'm only gonna show it on the timelines. And I'm also, so at the end of the day, you're constraining the algorithm. You are trying to outsmart the algorithm, and the reality is that that's why your ads are not working, because you're trying to put too much constraint on an algorithm that's supposed to run free and run wild like the wind and free as a bird. And no, in all reality, the more freedom you give to the algorithm and the more data you fit in, the better type of results that you will get. And number four, talking about data, is the fact that people are trying to use lookalike audiences here left and right. You know, you, you're, you, you hear that lookalike audiences are all the rage, but you need to have this in mind. Facebook algorithm will work with your data. It's super, super smart the minute you feed in good data. So if you buy uh, a list, like a shitty list out of, I don't know, a solo ad provider that is full with people from, you know, that wouldn't purchase anything, even if their life's depending on it, and you feed that into the Facebook algorithm or the Facebook uh, um, ads platform to create a lookalike, you will get a really bad quality, crap quality, uh, custom audience or lookalike audience. Like for example, I'm seeing these Facebook ads guys on YouTube going out there and saying, yeah, you should be running a likes campaign uh, to third world countries for, I don't know, a couple bucks a day so that you can get to 100 or 200 likes for an ad and that will be a lot of social proof. That's great if you know what you're doing, but a lot of people are just doing that and expecting conversions. It's not how it works. Even less if you want to actually create a custom audience based on a Facebook page. So, you know, if you don't know, now you're knowing, now you're, you're figuring it out, but you know that you can create a custom audience based on people that interact with your Facebook page, right? And that's actually a really valuable custom audience. Even further, if you have been following my advice of pushing engagement, right? And again, there's gonna be a link somewhere around here that's telling you exactly how to do that. But the main point is that if you're doing this, that you're pushing crappy audiences into your, into your pages, you're, you're pushing crappy audiences to engage with your page, then that's gonna skew the results, that's gonna skew the data, and at the end of the day, uh, it's not gonna work. Like, it, you, you will get shitty results. So, have in mind that the data that you're putting in Facebook, that the data that you're putting in Facebook, it's really, really important. Another thing that I see left and right is having these super big spam sites or you know, trying to put your pixel whenever, like trying to put your pixel on third party websites or trying to uh, get custom audiences from audiences that are not relevant to what you're trying to offer and that's not gonna work. Just remember that the data that you feed in the Facebook algorithm will determine, will tell you how of an effective Facebook ads campaign or Facebook ads ad set are you going to be running. So that's probably why your Facebook ads campaign are not working. If you have more questions about Facebook ads, the free group will be the place that you wanna be in because you can ask your questions and you can actually get answers, which is kind of mind blowing if you think about it. It's completely free, you can join, and then you can ask questions and you will get answers. And there's some of the Facebook groups that are full of spam and you don't get answers 
And no matter what you do, like you need to come out with a flamethrower and saying, yeah, give me answers, motherfucker, I'm gonna kill you. That's not gonna happen on the free Facebook group if you, if you join right now. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more uh, juicy information on how to make your Facebook ads better, how to make your sales funnels better, how to make you some more of that thing call money if that's what you're into if not that's fine but if you want to get more money just click the subscribe button or leave me a comment below because that's exactly what this channel is going to do for you baby guys thank you once again for watching i really really appreciate you and i hope that you're getting a lot of value out of this and i'll see you on the next video bye bye